Did the Fed make a decision with incomplete data without the full picture? Well, it, you know, it's interesting. You know, Scott said they, they made a decision to be on hold for the year. But, but again, are we reading too much into the dots? The dots are, are conditional on the forecast of individual participants. And what we've learned from this whole discussion from just six months ago, those forecasts change, and they change as the data changes. And not just data, but financial conditions and financial conditions influencing that data. So I, I think what we did in, in October and September was perhaps overstating the overheating and the tightening expectations. And we may, we don't know, depends on the evolution, how much of a second half recovery in global growth, in U.S. growth, what happens to inflation, what happens to financial conditions. The narrative three or six months from now could be completely different and the dots will change. So I think there's just too much precision in being attributed to the dots as an effective forecast. Yes. They've been a terrible forecast of actual Fed policy. Well,